Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your Windows installation from one hard drive to another without having to worry about any sort of reinstallation of any sort. This process essentially allows you to clone one hard drive to another so that you can move your installation over to a completely new hard drive without having to reinstall Windows or any programs or files or anything of that sort. So to begin, I've got this PC here and in it I have a 64 gig little solid state drive. It's not really in there, it's very secure, but don't worry about that. And I've got a 500 gigabyte SATA hard drive that I'm going to want to move the installation onto. So essentially I've got my little 64 gig with Windows on it and I want to take, be able to take that 64 gig out and put everything that's on it onto this drive including the Windows installation and everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my 500 gig drive here as a secondary drive in this machine. Okay, so now I've got both hard drives plugged in kind of sloppily, but don't worry about that. My original and my secondary, which I'm going to be moving stuff onto. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my PC and uh, let that boot to your installation. Okay, so now that you've got Windows booted up on your original drive, you want to make sure that you can see your new drive. You can do that by going to My Computer. And if you've put stuff on the drive before, um, you should be able to see it. That is, if it has a partition, if it's formatted. Uh, these two drives, drive D and E, are actually part of the same drive. But if you've bought a new hard drive, or if it's unpartitioned for whatever other reason, chances are you're not going to be able to see it in my computer, which shouldn't actually be an issue, so don't fret too much over that, um, because the program I'm about to tell you about uh, will help you with that. So you're going to need a program called Macrium Reflect. I should put a link to it in the description, but... Um, I don't actually have it on this PC, so I'm going to go ahead and download and install it myself. Okay, so I've got Macrium on here. It took about 30 seconds to install. Uh, this is what's called Macrium Reflect. It is free. They do have a uh, version you can pay for, but the free version works absolutely fine for what you're going to be doing here. Um, I don't need to register. So what it shows you is it shows you, firstly, all the hard drives that you have in the machine. Not necessarily hard drives, but storage devices, really. Uh, this is my original one. You can see it's about 64 gigabytes, and my new one I'm going to be copying to is 500 gigabytes. So if you didn't see your hard drive in my computer, it should show up here. It just might say like unpartitioned space or unallocated space down here instead, um, which doesn't matter. Uh, important note though, if you have anything on your new hard drive that you're going to be copying Windows onto, you're going to want to go ahead and save that, that to another location because this will overwrite everything that's on your other hard drive. So, um, you have to step back for a second and analyze which of these three situations you're in. Firstly, your original hard drive is smaller than your new hard drive, which is my my situation. Secondly, uh, second possibility, sorry, is that your new hard drive is the same size as your old hard drive. And the third situation is that your old hard drive is larger than your new hard drive. Um, I have the first situation where my first hard drive is smaller. Um, that's not an issue, none of these are an issue, just that after I'm done with Macrium, after I actually clone the disk, I'm going to show you how to expand your partition on your new drive to actually utilize the entire new drive rather than just, you know, the first, let's say, 64 gigs of it. Um, second situation, if your you know, hard drive is about the same size, that's not an issue. But if your first hard drive is larger, what you can do is... Um, you can, in fact, clone it onto your new drive. You just need to make sure that the amount of space you're using on your original hard drive is smaller than or equal to the size of your new hard drive. And uh, Macrium will handle that for you. It will shrink the partition down to fit onto the new drive. So what you do is you go ahead and you select. Well, first off, you're going to want to deselect your other drives if they're selected for whatever reason. And just go ahead and select your original one by clicking this check mark here. It'll um, select both partitions if you have, you know, a... Uh, system reserve partition which Windows usually creates um, and you go ahead and select that and you go to clone this disk. Imaging is slightly different, it just kind of copies the files and stuff, it doesn't actually copy the Windows installation over. So you go ahead and go to clone, you got your original hard disk and you want to select the disk to clone to. I'm going to select my Samsung 500 gig and clone to this bot, this, this guy right here. Um, I'm going to click next, it's going to tell me what it's going to do. Again, it's going to delete everything that's on my uh, new hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish to begin that process. Um, yes, it's time the, the, new, the new drives will be overwritten, which is okay. So this will take a little while depending on how much stuff you have on your drive. Uh, it'll take quite a long time. I've got about 40 or 
so gigabytes to copy over so um, it shouldn't take too long probably take about half an hour an hour so I'll let you know when that's done alrighty so the clone completed but one thing to mention is that when you go into my computer after the clone completes um, this only applies if your original hard drive is smaller than your new one it says both drives are 59.5 gigabytes which isn't true this one's actually 500 gigabytes but like I said before um, when you clone the drive it makes both the same size so I'm going to show you how to expand that once we actually boot into this so the, ne the next step is to go ahead and shut down your computer and stop booting off your original drive and start booting onto your new one which is a pretty easy process so what you do is obviously you just close out a Macrium and you go ahead and you restart your computer now what you can do now is you can either unplug, you can either turn off and then unplug your original hard drive um, to force your computer to only boot to the new one or you can leave them both plugged in which I'm going to do for a moment and um, enter the boot menu of my computer to make sure it boots from this guy and say this guy because my settings have been configured to boot to my original drive but I want to start booting to this one or else when I start up Windows it's, it's going to keep booting to the old drive so I think to enter the boot menu. It's different for each motherboard out there. Um, but you have to hit a button at the BIOS splash screen your computer starts up. And I know that my M4, that's the SSD, that's my original drive. This is my new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot to that one. This might take a little while. For the first time booting can be kind of slow. Shouldn't be too bad though. So here I am. I've successfully moved my Windows installation to a completely new drive without having to reinstall anything. As you can see, my programs and files and everything are here. The computer is almost the exact same way as it was before, just that I'm running it off a new drive. But for those of you whose original drive is smaller than your new one, like I said before, you're gonna go into my computer and let's say if you, if you install the 500 gig drive, I just showed you this, your drive is gonna be smaller. It's not 60 gigabytes, it's ignoring all these system reserves. Um, it's not actually 60 gigabytes, it's 500. So what you need to do, and you should do this even if your original drive is the same size or larger than your new drive, just to make sure that things are working properly. Go to start and type in diskmgmt.msc. Okay, and disk management pops up, you can click on that guy. And we'll go ahead and start the disk management window. And it'll show you all the drives that you currently have. Now, since I took my little 64 gig and copied over to my 500 gig, it'll use a lot of space in my new 500 gig that's not using because like I said before the partition sizes that you copy have to be the same so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my new hard drive take the NTFS partition that Windows is actually running off of and go to extend volume uh, and you can just click next and by default it, it will extend it to the maximum size it can be so it just extended my drive to the maximum size it can be so if I go to my computer my new drive is no longer um, 60 gigabytes instead, it's now the full 500 or effectively 465. So you've done it. You're all set. Now, if your original drive is the same size or, um, or if the original drive was larger than your new drive, it still doesn't hurt to right click in the sky and go to extend just to make sure that you know it's taking up the full space. Because two drives of the same size might not actually be effectively the same size, even if they're both listed by the manufacturer as say one terabyte. One might be, you know, just a teensy bit larger than the other, you never know. So, so yeah, so effectively, we're all done. And what I can actually do is I can actually go ahead and unplug this original hard drive and just leave this one in, and I'll be running Windows off my completely new drive. So hopefully you found this video to be informative or helpful in some way. If not, go ahead and ask any questions or give me any criticism in the comments. I really, really do truly hope it's helped any of you who needed the help. Um, and I hope to see, hope to see you in my next videos.